Jason having a drink. Now I'm going to go and have a look at the fuel depot at the In a Katara, where is it? There he is. Portsmouth over there. Right, just went to toilet down there through a little barbed wire fence, that was fun. Came down there, not slippy at all then. To be fair, not as muddy as I thought it'd be. Hundred yards from a road, brilliant. Oh, it's supposed to be there, yeah. Here's the fence off top. Okay, the gate's locked off. I thought, oh dear, how's this gonna work? How about that then? And there's the door. Right, in we go. Portsmouth fuel bunker. Throw back from um, the late thirties it was built, so World War II. Hole in the fence. Gate locked, not getting through there. And here's how we go in. Okay, here we are. That's the way in. Now we're going to head down a big long tunnel. So let's go. Right, down we go. Leave the surface behind. Salad of some description, some pasta creation. Right, Jason's gone ahead, so at the bottom we'll go and find Jason. Tell you what, that is emergency lightings ain't flipping out of the arc, aren't they? Reasonably new. Two thousands maybe, it says last year's, who knows? It's got lighting in it. Late night, is it a push? It's like we're levelling out, we're getting there. Another emergency light, quite modern, same type. And it's levelled out. Mind the holes on the floor. Oh, quite a long way up. Where you're walking, there's um, quite a few holes in the ground, but he just got down. Light switches, I guess. Some sort of winch equipment. Jason's down there, he's just wandered off. Mm. Doesn't smell very pleasant. Look behind you, urbex lunatics. There's Jason with his um, lovely reflective bits on the boiler suit. And we're off. More sort of winch gear on them, um, big steel cables. Let's go up to the top. Top of the tanks, I'd imagine, more on a way out. Top of the tanks, I'd have thought. So obviously, there's a, another tank here, way in. If you call through the pipe, which I've got in mind later on, to see if we can get in one. Poor old conduit starting to sag. Old emergency light on the way in, quite modern though, this century. Emergency lighting, still got the batteries and power supply on it. No switch mode power supply, yeah. Tell you what, this emergency lighting isn't old. Is this, is this century? It's got to be. Quite a lot of emergency lighting, and it is, just isn't old stuff. There's another one. 
There's a little junction box for the phone, so it's been phone, not emergency lighting down. It certainly ain't been left since the war, it's too modern. See, modern lighting, reasonably modern phone sockets, that'd be fair, look the same since the late 80s. But, um, There's a plug socket that's quite new. Yeah, there is plug sockets, seen it on YouTube. Did you try the winch? There you are, look. Jason playing with the old wrench. The wrench still works. <laughs> See what I've done there? <laughs> I've seen this a few times on YouTube. I'm not going down. You're traipsing about in oil. You can't see the floor. It's flammable, it stinks, and you'll never get clean. So we'll stick with the cleaner bits. Oh, look, Ellie Golding's been down here, supposedly. There it is. Ellie <laughs> Golding. I doubt it. Urbex Lunatic again. Jay was here, 2017, last year. Right? I haven't seen the ginormous cock yet. You always get a ginormous cock somewhere. It's been falling over bits of wire. It's starting to get a bit oily. Obviously, I had a major leak here. It's steep. Pipe work along the side. Jason having a little wonder. Big long straight cord all out, just come from down there. Some sort of pipe work along the sides. A little bit bothered, there's a light up there we've seen. Hope it's the other door in the middle section or we're screwed. Just hoping there's not someone up here. Just bothered we could see light at the end of this and 150 yards back. Okay, it's an external door. My guess is it's the middle bit, as I call it. Top, middle and bottom. It's just daylight, but from 250 yards back you can see light. It's really off-putting. It's just an external door. Thank God for that. Before ever's people in here 250 yards back. Right, 12 volt battery installed 19th of May 2011. So obviously they still had a working alarm system only what seven and a half years ago. It's not the most of the newest, but that's not bad. Late 90s, 2000s, fuse box, that would be the alarm. Battery would have come out of that. 12 volt battery just as a backup, my guess is a, a fire alarm system. So this place was left not as late, um, not as long ago as I thought. So this is the south entrance. This is what I class as the bottom entrance. You've got a middle and a top. This is the bottom. So through the gate. You can see we can get in a tank at some point. It's the plan. Jason's just up there. You have to mine the ground. Can't be playing on your smartphone at the same time, be straight down a down a pit. There you are, throw back from the alarm or telephones. Not sure. Could be an alarm system. Thin wire. Alarm or phone, something like that. Well we did not find what we class as the middle entrance, you've missed that. We found the bottom entrance, so we're going to find the other way in, there's three. I'm assuming we can get in a big tank, which I've seen on YouTube this week, so that's fun for an 18 inch hole. Come down the dark hole to do a little bit of pumping. Do you see it pumping? Or pulling? Pulling, I'd say screwing. Screwing the old cock, so yeah, coming down here to do a bit of screwing. Be fair about this, that is taking, it's gear, it's going, don't Yeah, I probably wouldn't pull it too much, you yeah, have to mind it's yeah. stuck to yeah, you don't, you don't the end of that. You don't know what it's doing, yeah, I'm just trying to come down on your head, then you have a slight migraine, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. Jason's already been up to an empty room, supposedly. Oh yeah, here you are. 
like fit and seen better days. Or dirty graffiti. I haven't seen a big willy yet. I always have to have a big willy. But graffiti, 82 to 1994. But remember, don't tie it on the end, otherwise you won't get the rope back. You've got to tie it about halfway, isn't you? You've got to have enough length sticking out more than the pipe is deep, isn't you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you tie it on the end, I pull it through, you ain't going to get the rope back. So that's the hole we're all going to go up then. I've seen this on a YouTube video, if, if, if you can do it. Support my legs. Hmm? Support my legs. Don't worry about filming. Get me started. Oh, I'll try and wait on that. I can hear myself echoing already. Right, you'll be okay. Are you in? No. Keep supporting me. That's it. Push me. I don't know how you're going to do it. Maybe oh, I'll sort myself out. You're on your own. I think you're going to struggle. <laughs> be fair, there was only two of them before when they both got in. Right, you're in now, that's it. you over, you're okay, I think you're going to struggle, you've got no one to help you. And there's your problem. I don't know how deep it is, what have I got to poke? I just think you're going to end up getting all your trousers in this, I wasn't expecting it to be full of shit. Why is that going to be clean, it's an oil tank. No, but I don't know how deep it is, that's the problem. I, I can't get out, I'm coming back. Alright. I'm coming back. I guess... I might, I might attempt it feet first, I think I read, that's what he did. I'm guessing it's going to be a good six feet down, because if you look, there's a little drain thing here. Anything long you can give me a stick. Um wait a minute. There's wood, but you won't get that through. No. I needed something you can poke up my side now, they're not gonna be anything. Right, coming to the end now. How can I get the camera just to that end to do a bit of filming? <laughs> we difficult to. the best we'll get. And what you do, you film me with your one, yeah? Yeah. And I'll have that footage when we get back. Yeah, right. So I can mix and match the two, does that make sense? Yeah. I think the best you can do is just film the camera. You're not, you're not gonna get out, I'm not even gonna try it. It's too tight, I've got no movement. My arms are starting to go. Well, I've only got headband torch, it doesn't look anything. There's my clean gloves. There's my dirty ones. I'm focusing about 15 centimetres from the screen, so I really can't see. Right, I'm through the pipe, Jason's filming my back, so I'll mix and match the scenes. Best Jacko impression. Ow! Ow! No one can hear you scream! Ow! That is really weird, isn't it? I'm hanging out a pipe, I can't see, you know. The camera don't look anything, but I'm doing it for the audio. There's a little bit of gubbins here, I don't know if it shows up. So, um, it's a pipe, I'm not getting in, I'm no way am I getting in here. I mean, I can see, but the camera doesn't. Ow!
right, clean gloves on, camera in pocket, in back we go. This is really glamorous. 18 inch hole is not easy and I'm hanging out the end and it's getting really painful. I'm too old for all this stuff. Right, camera away. Oh, oh. I'm starting to struggle now, this isn't comfortable. Do you want me to pull your legs? Just trying to move, you can't see, you can't get your head up. Got it all split. Oh. Right, wait a minute, because this is all getting covered in crap. Film the train now. Stand to the front. But to be fair, it's, it's, it's a fuel tank. <laughs> Bit closer, come up where the gloves are there. I turn your beam off. Right, I'm cleaning my hands. I suggest Jason don't do it, it's not worth getting dirty. You can't see anything, it's just no advantage. How he got in there, that is very, very clever, I'll give him that. I see it on YouTube, I want to get in. 300 metres long, 250 I think, 11 metres high. Impressive tan, but yeah, you're going to be stepping out into oil. He must have got filthy, it's just not worth the risk. You don't know how deep it is, you can't tell. He's standing in flammable fuel, something like that. Yeah. Okay, we missed that on the way down. This is all you'll see here, look. Jason just noticed the massive cot, there's always one. What is it? Uh, you've got a little caricature thing. What's it say? Fuck me. Fuck me, Harry. Harry. How is how is partial to a sheep then? Okay. Well, that's it, then. We're now going to go back up the, the sloping out. We're going to have a look at the other entrances and home. Come, come to die. That's, that's friendly. Some sort of electronics there. Do with a panel coming in. There's your infrared transmitter receiver, one or the other. That's a pair. A switch of some sort. Radio vision communication, possibly. Not sure. It says radio vision, so. And that's the stuff on the door I missed on the way in. Jason's already gone, hopefully we won't see any dog walkers as we abandon the place, and we're done. Right, bags of rubbish, tissues, gloves, my boiler suit disgusting, so left nothing behind but two small lab gloves in the tank, which I couldn't get in my pocket and didn't want to, so. Car and oil, there's two small gloves left behind, so overall not too bad. 
I do the rubbish people chuck down here, which is wrong. I'm gonna come down here, don't chuck your rubbish down. So that's it then. Job done. Jason's through, now my turn. Oh, oh not easy. This will come to nothing either, but we'll go and have a look. Thank you. 